I'm out here in the middle of the farming belt, and this is where ATVs or all-terrain vehicles are really are at home. This is a great weapon, this one. I've been, uh, I've, I guess I've ridden most ATVs over my time, but uh, this one is really something special. It's got a great big Rotax engine at 1,000 cc's, and uh, it just climbs up and down these hills like nothing else. I've been poking around. You can see behind me here, pretty steep terrain. And uh, as we say, ATVs or all-terrain vehicles means you can pretty much go anywhere. Um, just remember when you are riding one of these, it's fine to go up a steep hill or down a steep hill, but around the sides of the hills is where you're really going to get in trouble and that's where you can tip them over. But look, they're great fun. They're fantastic to get on the beach and have a bit of a play around in. I've got one at home and I've got a couple of fishing rod holders on the back of it and I stick the fishing rods in there and, and load all the gear up and go down the beach and have a fish. I've snuck into a few secret spots chasing some Murray cod and some bass on them as well. But out here, this is where the farmers really get hold of them. They do their thing. The dogs get up on the back. They put spray rigs on them and they're spraying burrs and they're really using them as, I guess, it's their tool, you know, they've replaced horses and that's what ATVs have done. But these, these days you can have them for both purposes. You can, a bit of recreation and uh, you can also use them out here on the farm to get all of your work and all of your jobs done. So they've got uh, all sorts of uh, different characteristics that allow them to, uh, to venture into some wild places. Uh, knobbly tyres like this, lots of suspension travel. So that means that uh, instead of the whirl only moving a little bit up and down in the whirl arch, it travels a long way, you can ride over quite rough obstacles, you can hit bumps and jumps and bits and pieces and uh, this thing is such a comfortable unit it'll soak all of that up. But uh, I'm getting a little bit older too I guess and what they have done is these days they've even got power steering. This one's got three different settings of power steering. So um, depending uh, I guess on, um, on your ability and your, your, uh, your ability to ride different units, this one's a thousand as I've said but there's 400 uh, there's a 500cc one, 650s, 800, and they tend to get bigger and more powerful as they go up. But what that uh, power steering system does, that allows uh, somebody who's maybe not quite as strong as I am to still be able to steer the thing around, and that's what I really do like about it. But so I know we're out in, uh, in western New South Wales. These things are really at home on the beach, and uh, a lot of people use them for recreation, not just for farm work like we've got here. So I love to get out in the one I've got at home and, uh, and do a bit of fishing. I've got a couple of rod holders strapped on the back. I can load up an esky, put my tackle on there, and fly down the beach and, uh, and, uh, and get out and do a bit of fishing. So they're quite a, quite a uh, I guess that there's quite a lot of options that you can use uh, with any ATV to get out and about and, uh, and see the best parts of Australia. But uh, quite an easy thing to drive. There's no clutch, there's no manual gearbox in this thing. You've got park, high range, low range, neutral, and of course reverse if you've got to back yourself out of a bit of a situation. Just remember to be safe when you're riding around on ATVs. I've got the old ugly black helmet behind me here. Generally have a pair of gloves on, long pants, good sturdy pair of boots, and just ride to your ability.